Introducing the brand new Bernie Sanders bad oh dragon. Oh my god, no. <clears throat> god, no. Stop. That's terrible. I'm one. to the millionaires and billionaires, and you can also fuck me with this bad <laughs> dragon. <laughs> I am once again asking for your gummies. No refunds. Oh my god. <laughs> Get fucked by Bernie. <laughs> with this limited edition Bernie Sanders dildo. <laughs> Do you feel that? It's the support that I was asking for. episode of Fairy Frequencies is brought to you by the Sonic Movie. Hey, want to take your date on to an awesome movie where you get to see a hedgehog in a movie that nobody, absolutely nobody asked for, except for furries because they're fucking horny. Then it comes to the Sonic Movie. It's been changed not once, not twice, but three times, allegedly. Starring Jim Carrey, he's going to carry this movie to an Oscar nomination next year. The Sonic Movie. Come watch it. Please. Hello and welcome to Furry Frequencies, a soundtrack to your furry life. I am Lifty, and joining us on the podcast this evening is IBM. Hey, what's going on? And Silox. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> he's, so trying to, he's trying to hold it in so bad. He's trying to hold in what, a fart? Hey, both the laugh and the fart. <laughs> okay, so... First of all, we want to touch base and just uh, announce to everybody that, yes, our uploads are kind of slow at the moment. Both Sylox and I are college students as well as full-time workers. And so we're trying to keep up with our workload in college and at work and also our normal day-to-day life while also putting together this podcast. So bear with us. We're going to be a little slow on uploads. All our episodes are going to sound like we're talking about stuff that's weeks ago old. Please bear with us while we try to keep up with everything that's going on. But with that said, we have a great new episode with a lot of stuff that happened over the past week. Um, we're going to start off talking about the closing of Furby after 20 years. And also we have a uh, uh, furry artist who just got shut down by google because uh yeah Yeah, personally i think that one is just ridiculous yeah let's go ahead and start off with that so (laughs) this so uh we had an artist that got shut down by google she uh dashed all her porn into her google drive account and 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 then she went on a she she just went just on a, a, a come on get it yes. out yes uh, give me a minute so, you, so basically she she stored all of the content that she either created or that she found and she liked on her Google Drive account and I'm guessing she provided links to those files to other people because that's where she stored it so mm-hmm. like if she wanted to share a particular piece of art she would link it and then it was making its way out there somebody had to have reported that to Google because Google doesn't regularly screen oh, no, no 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 actually Looking back at the tweets that she sent out, here's one of the tweets that she sent out. She said, heads up to people who use Google Forms. I set up a form for commissions and asked for a PayPal email address for invoicing. And I guess I triggered some auto detection algorithm with my wording and Google locked my primary email completely. The account is basically banned. And uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so oh, okay. Jesus. Google Forms. I don't think I don't think I don't think anybody reported her account. I think it's Google. She typed up something. She she uploaded something to Google Drive. It kicked off their algorithm and Google well, swarmed in. Okay. Well, I mean, I can't fault Google for doing. Well, nobody can actually fault Google for doing this because it is their service. Yeah. It's their rules. It's written in their TOS. Exactly. So, for people that are sticking up for this artist, you have every right to stick up for her. But also, bear in mind, 
Google is providing a service to everyone. Mm -hmm. So they have to try to make it as PG as possible. If somebody's out there and actually abusing the Google services for something that's directly in violation of the 2S, of course, they reserve the right to do what they see you know, fitting for the situation. And in this instance, they decided to uh, ban the account. Um, there is a chance that they could probably still gain access to the account later on. You know, they do a review uh, because obviously the dismissal of an email account is kind of a big deal. That's somebody's direct link to an online life. Without mm -hmm. that email associated to a lot of other existing accounts, they've pretty much lost access to their bank, uh, to YouTube, to all of their online... Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a big deal. But again, I'm not defending the artist or defending Google. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not for this at all. Yeah. It sucks that it happened. It happened. So unfortunately, they're going to have to deal with it. But here is what I want to mention. It you mentioned it. You did mention that it's in their TOS that they don't accept pornography or adult material on the yeah. Google Drive. If you don't read the TOS, that's on you. Now, this thing where sites have been cracking down on adult content on their sites has actually been a thing for a, quite a while now. If you remember back in 2018, uh, there, was a, there was a bill going through the House, and it also went through the Senate. It was passed. It was called the FOSTA-SESTA Act, Stop Enabling Sex Traffickers Act. Oh, and that one. Yeah, if you remember that, that was a bill intended to stop the spread of uh, sex trafficking online and stop the spread of businesses using uh, the websites to uh, harbor sex traffickers. So it also removed the cold 230 exemptions. So it made it so the host of the website like i.e. Google, would actually be responsible for the content that their users upload onto the site. So that can also mean that when it comes to services like Google Drive, anything that you upload to your Google Drive, Google is responsible for that, believe it or not. Even though it's your stuff, Google is responsible for that. And that goes for anything in the cloud. This is what, what this was that what this was. It was in the cloud, and um, same thing with uh, Tumblr. Remember Tumblr? That's why they, <laughs> I, that was our like first Verizon. God, I, I can't will, stand Tumblr. Will just argue to death, saying no. This had nothing to do with stop enabling. Tumblr is time. where my ex girlfriend put out all of my personal business. Mm -hmm. So like she actually put out there on her Tumblr page. Today, I just learned my boyfriend is bisexual. What the fuck? Why would you tell people that? <laughs> wow. She sounds classy. Oh, my God. She was... What a bitch. Wow. Uh, yes and no. She was a bitch, but she wasn't, like, a bitch. You know? She was She was just stupid. Oh. <laughs> so she was dense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, but anyway, going back to... Uh, Sesta and Tumblr. That I think that was a very big reason why Tumblr cracked down on all the porn and all the adult uh, content that was hosted on it Tumblr. It was the reason. Yeah, because this was just passed, and the federal government could uh, issue sanctions on Tumblr for all that content. And not only that, a lot of people were actually using Tumblr for um, for sex work and to promote sex working. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this law would definitely not look good compared to that. Um, so you now have Google putting, if they haven't done that before, you have Google and other websites, especially those that store on the cloud, you have them putting into their TOS those provisions where they do not allow adult content because now because of the Section 230 exemptions being stripped away, they're responsible for that content. Even though you uploaded it, it's your content. 
So going back to this person, I know that a lot of people have put out alerts for Google Drive and Google services regarding this, but I'm telling you right now, if it if you didn't read it in TOS, if you didn't read the TOS, then it's on you. Well, to be fair, most people don't read the TOS. So most people don't read the TOS. Yeah, they're gonna get fucked either way. Yeah. That's why it's a good idea right now, if you're thinking about doing this, to read your TOS before you do it and you get fucked over severely like this artist did. Yeah, I mean it's it's a bad thing, especially when your email goes Yeah. Pretty much AWOL like that, because again, if it's your primary email address, you you just lost access to your online life. Um yeah. and it's yeah, hard to exactly. it's hard to get that back. Yeah, um, but absolutely. best of luck but best of luck to her or him, whatever. Um okay. and if all goes well then I guess you you know what not to do in the future, but uh, if not, then you know my heart's out there for you. But please, please don't post it on the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, the uh, next item on the itinerary, I guess we'll go back to uh, Fur uh, Furby. I was, I was yes. about to call it Furby. Furby. <laughs> Furby. <laughs> well, that's what it says. It says topics Furby closing because you can't. Oh. Silox, you you misspelled it. No, I didn't. I put yeah, so you did. it is. No, no it's, it. it's it says Furby. Furby. It says Furby. Okay, well, how Furby. do you spell Furby? That's literally how you spell it. B-U-Y. B-U-R-B-U-Y. Buoy? B-U-Y. B-U-Y. Oh, my God. You you? That's literally a Pokemon. B-U-Y. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, what? it is. A Who weasel or whatever the fuck is called. That's oh literally my God. a Pokemon. B-U-Y, Silox. B-U-Y. You said B-U-I. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Okay, okay. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Silox. Yes, yes. You ever seen the sign for a Best Buy? Yes, I have. Okay, you see that word below the word best? Yes, buy. Okay, can you, can you picture that word in your head? Yes, B-U-I. Okay, spell it for me. B Y. Exactly. Yes. That's what you were supposed to type. No, it's fur by fur B Y. That's how it's spelled. No, no, it that's, isn't. That's that's the right. brand name of a toy that came out in the nineties yes, that yes, haunted I my childhood. Furby. Yes. Yes, Furbies are. <laughs> anyway. Oh my so, so talk about Furby. It's uh, one of those wonderful websites that's been in service for over 20 years. Um, yeah. And for those of you don't kn or that don't know, it was uh, a marketplace to buy, uh, buy and sell fursuit accessories, full fursuit, full fursuits, mm -hmm. excuse me, and other things relating to the uh, fursuit genre. Yeah. Um, yeah. Apparently, recently, they went down, yeah. gone, poof. Well, Actually, no. What happened was Furby was in a hiatus for a little while. They were promising that they would be back and better than ever. Uh, I think that they, they just couldn't keep up with their server payments or, or they just their, their server kept on shutting down and they couldn't really afford to get a newer server. Their, their, the whole system for Furby was as old as the site itself. If you ever went to Furby, of course, it was you notice that the whole interface was very, very old fashioned compared to like 2016 standards, 2017 standards of website design. And it, it, it was just really, really old fashioned compared to modern websites. And so they shut it down and they kind of promised that they would come back at a later time. They never actually said when, but they would come back at a later time with a better interface, better servers, more secure servers, more secure ways to buy a fursuit online, etc. And then, of course, they put out the tweet on Twitter that says, So long and thanks for all the fish. Furby had a good run, 20 years in furry fandoms, nothing to sniff at. Best wishes to everyone with their sales and thanks for those who supported us for so long. And um, I remember Furby because it was kind of like the only place online that you could find used fursuits from reputable dealers instead of like going to eBay and, and buying all these cheap ass chintzy 
fursuits from who knows where uh, for like 200 bucks. And they, they, you could tell in the pictures that they would post that the, the, the details were wrong. They were off center. They were, they were kind of, you could tell all the little, the little imperfections in the fursuits in these pictures that they post. They look good when they, when they're mm. a person, but what you get is like, eh. much worse. Than... I think you're you're going a little bit overboard on that one. Like yeah, a... you are going overboard on what? So the thing is, is it depends on who's selling. So like that's true. The seller was honest. They would post every last well-known imperfection in the suit instead of like trying to promote it for example if the suit's 10 years old it's going to have holes it's going to be ratty and you know probably falling apart um and but what the... i'm saying is that the workmanship of some of these suits that you find on ebay aren't the best or aren't even good compared to what you see in other makers in the fandom and and a lot of people are just allured by a very rock bottom price for a full suit, like two hundred dollars or so. And when they get the suit, it's just the the quality is just so subpar that it just starts falling apart after a, a few wear or a few times of wearing it. And uh, Furby was kind of an answer to that, where actual fursuit makers fursuit owners could buy and sell their fursuits their partials their accessories and there was yeah you got some bad apples here and there but more or less it was quality stuff that they were selling because it was right from the from the actual person that owned it or from the person that made it etc cetera, etc cetera. It, it had very it had a very tight-knit feel I still, I'm like half-half on it because I know that most of that is true and then I know the rest of it is bullshit because mm -hmm. it, it's just like any other marketplace. Um, you have somebody that has something that they want to sell or you just get rid of and they'll do anything under the red sun to promote it, even though it's a piece of shit, to make it make it out for something that's amazing. Now, yeah. hold up. If yeah, what's yeah. up, Psylocke? <laughs> Okay, if you go to the website now, the first thing that you're greeted with at the top. <laughs> Hold up. Go to the website. Go to the website. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, yeah. And see that. Take the February 2020 furry political survey. Oh, yeah. So that's what we need to touch on because right after, right after they tweeted out that, uh, they, their goodbye message on uh, Twitter, they started talking about the, uh, they started talking politics. And that's when all these nostalgic feelings and, and, rem and reminders of Furby years ago, <sighs> how we used to use them, just kind of just went down the drain. When they started talking, uh, politics. this is this is why I hate talking politics because it's a fucking cancer and it's getting worse. I really don't give a shit. I'm a fucking anarchist. I don't care if the world wants to blow itself up. Fucking do it, okay? I'm tired of sitting here t hearing. We stop live echoing. In society. God damn it! So if they want to blow each other up, fucking do it. As long as they take me out nice and quick, I'm okay. You know because. Uh, it's not like I can find some fucking secluded island somewhere out there and just be happy because I guarantee you I'm going to have some sort of fucking political debate with a monkey <laughs> about whose banana is this or whose fucking coconut does this belong to. Yeah. You know, it, you're fucked anywhere you go. Fucking kill me. Where's my gun? That sounds some. That sounds like some joker. We live in a society bullshit. Get a load of this society. <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke. I honestly expect Joker to, like, say something to that effect. No, but um, <laughs> one of the first tweets was relation to the Trump acquittal that happened, uh, what, last week? And uh, they said this. Today is a sad day in the great American experiment in democracy. America took one step towards authoritarian fascism, as all future presidents will be above the law with no accountability to Congress. Now, 
I'm not here to debate whether you agree or disagree with a Trump acquittal. What I want to debate is, who the fuck asked for your opinion, Furby? <laughs> Dude, welcome to Furry Twitter, man. Everything is fucking political. You want to score them political points? Who asked for Furby's opinion? This is like, like this is like, but I can't understand. This is like asking. This is like, this is like asking Heinz Ketchup. Hey, who do you think is gonna win the presidency? Or asking, <laughs> or asking Toys R Us. Hey, who is your favorite presidential candidate? Toys R Us doesn't exist. They exist online and in our hearts. Yeah. Okay. You keep telling yourself that. Uh, whatever. Like they had. So they did, I, and I. Good. They did not need to go this route. No, they, they didn't. Could have, they could have just made a tweet that says, "Hey, we're we're closing down," and that's it. They could have just sailed off into the sunset. You know, they didn't have to get woke or, or you know make a statement. Jesus like, Christ! You fucking said no the word. Need for them to do all of that. They're, now, they're this being is their... too fucking extra. Now like, this is stay in your lane. No one to like quit. Yeah. Oh, get woke. Oh. Now, this is their response as to why they made that tweet. Ignoring politics in a democracy is what permits and emboldens bigots, fascists, and authoritarians to seize power while you're looking away. Nothing to see here is how democracy dies. Don't sell your freedom for blissful ignorance. This isn't the Matrix yet. Okay. okay well, hold up. Look, time out. Time out. Time, time out. Yeah. Time go out. ahead. Go ahead. Well, let me stop you. Let me. Let me stop them right there. First of all. I am very intelligent when it comes to politics. I fucking majored uh -huh. in that shit, okay? Yeah. I don't like to talk politics 24-7. That does not mean I am complicit in the election of Donald J. Trump in 2016. That just means I don't want to hear it 24-7. There's nothing wrong with learning... Then why the fuck are we talking about it now? We're talking about it because first talking about it. And <laughs> not bring it up. So they the had hell is no that? reason to bring that shit up. It's exactly. fucking annoying. That's why I started this whole thing with who asked Furby for their opinion. And they just, and, and just when I thought they said the stupidest thing ever, they keep talking. Just when I thought you couldn't say anything <laughs> dumber, you keep talking. And they keep on, okay, and they I'm keep on getting shut down by, by other talking. tweets. Talking. Talking, yeah. Park the like, car. Like I get it. It's the. It was well. It was the uh, hot topic for the time for a couple of hours. But like, I, I don't want to hear everybody's fucking opinion on it. Hold I, on. I really don't. Let me let me just say something here, okay? Silox. Yes. I'm so proud of you. We've made it. 25 minutes in and you haven't smacked your lips yet. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> so there's that. I mean, something's happening. You know, there's a positive vibe in here where Silox doesn't have to turn full sass. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. He's becoming self-aware. <laughs> yes. So now you can focus on smacking your booty cheeks instead of your That's pretty lip. gay. I don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> So I'm yeah, despite the uh, so despite the backlash that Furby received for their political wokeness, I, I <laughs> you, who 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 on earth thought that a big company could be woke? All right. But anyway, I'm I'm fucking uh, triggered. Okay, if you say that word one more time, I swear to you, I will travel. All... I'm going to finish. come up there. No, if I have to, I will fucking penetrate you. You with it. a pine cone you won't do from it. my backyard woke 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 stay woke you're really asking for this you won't do it but anyway just just when we thought that uh they would actually say just when we thought that uh furby would learn their lesson from all the backlash that they received from their political tweets they keep talking and so they got fucking slapped when they were about to tweet something that said, wow, didn't know furry fandom had so many Republican shill twats. Now I know why we shut down Furby, because of assholes like you. They got absolutely destroyed on Twitter over this. And of course, that just they just kept going with this. So that's what led to the uh, 
the political survey that if you go to Furby's site now, it's at the very top of the site. And uh, so let me just go through these questions that, uh, that they have on this political survey. There's only five of them. One, how do you identify as a furry? Two, which political party or ideology do you most strongly identify with? Three, which candidate do you currently most strongly endorse for the 2020 presidential election? Number four, if your preferred candidate does not win the primary, do you plan to abstain from voting? And five, are you concerned that democracy as we know it in America is under threat right now? I want to stab this person. I do. You're not the only, you're not the only one. Like I said, with all these political tweets that nobody asked for from Furby, everybody is getting you're, irritated with Furby. Your so, role is to host a marketplace for fursuits and things of the like not to sit there and use your channel your um uh, what's the word platform yeah sure you you can't use your platform to uh, propel your political views it's not right it, and imagine people aren't there on that site to hear about how you dislike Trump or how you blah blah blah. Who gives a fuck? I want to fucking buy a fur suit, um, fur suit, bitch. Can you imagine if Bad Dragon started doing this shit? Oh my god, I wouldn't oh, want to. Good <laughs> lord, that would be interesting to see. Yeah. Introducing the brand new Bernie Sanders Bad oh Dragon. Oh my god! No. <clears throat> oh god, no! Stop. That's terrible. We're I'm after the millionaires and billionaires, and you can also fuck me with this bad <laughs> dragon. I, I am once again asking for. <laughs> I am once again asking for your gummies. No refunds. Oh my god! Get fucked by Bernie with this limited edition Bernie Sanders dildo. <laughs> Do you feel that? It's the support that I was asking for. It's now in your butthole. <laughs> You feel the burn? <laughs> Are you feeling it? Are you feeling the burn? Oh my god. So fucking cringy. It's so horrible. Know, but th yeah, exactly. This is what this is. This is cringe. This is so what we're talking about. It. My because PSA to anyone out there who is listening, who happens to be a representative to Bad Dragon or any of the other, you know, wonderful toy companies, you know, uh, what was the other one? Where uh, uh primal hardware primal and, uh, hardware yeah yeah there's a couple others if i didn't mention you sorry wait for primal me. hardware do they make like yes hardware what did you think they stuff? made hammers and yes that's what i thought they made yes oh my god really? <laughs> stupid ass yes. so anyway for those of you who represent those other companies if you're listening to this i swear to you if you have any any sort of political uh like lean towards one side or the other keep it to yourself because if it starts to rub off onto your product i swear to you this is not going to be the fucking home of the land or the free or blah 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 you're gonna have a whole lot of pissed off furries coming at you with more than just dildos okay <laughs> yeah like time and place y'all you know what, if you want to spew your opinions, do it on a burner account and do it on Twitter. I don't want to see your fucking opinions on your main account. I don't want to hear about Bad Dragon talking about UBI. I, I certainly don't want to hear him talking about Trump. Like, keep that shit to yourself. Seriously. <laughs> right. It's like, people are relying on these guys to provide a product. Okay? That's the big big fucking problem the furry the furry community has is that they use their fan base they use their um you're echoing again okay so there's these huge what's the word i'm looking for it's like not a it's it's kind of like fan base but i'm i'm, I'm slipping my mind anyway Fandom? Look, no it's um anyway these these groups like for example Furby, 
use their group, their fan base, their users as a way to propel their, their yeah, as a way to propel their beliefs, their political beliefs into the masses. So that way they could either one sway their consumers to see things more their way or to, or to, um, you know, prove a point. The thing is, is you're right. They should have their own burner account to voice their own opinions. Thing is, is when someone goes to furby.com, it's not to read political debate. It's literally to just get fursuit stuff. And if I'm going to primal hardware or to bad dragon, it's definitely not so I can see pictures of Trump or Bernie Sanders. It's <laughs> cause if I'm there, it's probably because I have some deeper personal issues that I would rather stick long things in. Shut up. Don't I, I don't judge, but that's what <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't either. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> and I definitely don't want to be thinking uh, I don't want to be thinking about Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump or anyone else while I'm in these personal moments because Boner killer. <laughs> well it's not me with the boner. It's <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but you you see what I'm saying? Furries can't leave it alone. Yeah. People people in general, not just furries. I mean, don't think I'm I'm only attacking furries. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm just I'm I'm telling it like it's like it is. It's it's stupid. You can't do this and expect there to be no consequences. There are not not everybody's going to agree with your your point of view. Not everybody's going to th- see things your way. And once you start using your commercial outlet your your commercial outlet as a way to uh communicate your views you're going to lose your customers you're going to lose that following mm-hmm. so uh, i think we've talked to death about uh Urbi yeah and, rest in peace um, yeah no no good riddance yeah good riddance you had my rest in peace when you said so long and thanks for all the fish but um when you started going all political and woke and shit that's when you lost me you fucking lost me go to hell Go away. Stay dead. Bye bye. Damn. Now moving on because um, this this was an interesting uh, little little phenomenon that happened earlier. Um, so there's of course the Sonic movie that's coming out on uh, Valentine's Day, but also you have a movie about Harley Quinn called Birds of Prey. Mm-hmm. that i think is out now i i yeah so yeah. i can shed some light into this so um i think it was last week um the movie birds of prey um released it's a movie from dc warner brothers um it's pretty much a i don't want to say standalone but it's more or less a standalone sequel to suicide squad it follows harley quinn and some other characters from that universe um so it's not doing too well, I guess, in the eyes of critics. They didn't like it, or it's it's either the critics didn't like it or the audience didn't like it. I don't know which which one it is, but um, for whatever reason, it's not doing so well. Um, I believe it had the least. It didn't. It had the least amount in terms of money made in an opening for a DC um, movie. Um, so for whatever reason, um, some fans of birds of prey decided to attack the sonic movie by saying such funny things as in the sonic movie there are homophobic scenes and racism so i took my kids and we went over to see birds of prey okay now time out for a minute one why would you take your kids to see a rated r movie (laughs) (laughs) that's bad parenting Second of all, the Sonic movie isn't even out yet. These are tweets that are happening on the 10th, and the Sonic movie doesn't hit theaters until the 14th. So where are they getting all these homophobic slurs from? <laughs> you, what? <laughs> I went to watch Sonic movie with my little brother, and there were a few really racist and homophobic scenes. <laughs> What and then you see a lot of tweets <laughs> that say movie. the same. You see the, a lot of tweets that say the same thing. 
I took my husband and two sons to go see Sonic movie and was appalled to hear homophobic slurs throughout the movie. Luckily, Birds of Prey was showing in the next room and my family had a much better experience. Okay. <laughs> I really don't think any of these posts are legit. No, they're, they're probably they're, not. They're, they're Especially really the ones that just repeat the same thing over and over. Right, and that's because people will believe anything they see on social media. Now it's like and my god, someone complained. I don't like it because they don't like it. <laughs> oh, here's a funny one. I took my wife, his boyfriend... Excuse me. I took my wife, her boyfriend, and her two kids to see the Sonic movie and was appalled to hear homophobic slurs used throughout the movie. Luckily, Birds of Prey was showing in the next room and my family and my wife's boyfriend had a much better experience. Stop. Stop. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Your wife's boyfriend? Yeah. That's a, yeah. What kind of relationship are you in? <laughs> I'm reading tweets, man. I'm not saying oh, no. anything about my own relationship. I have so many questions. <laughs> oh, wait. I just got it. Oh, it took me a second. I was focused on something else. Wait, what? She has... Why? <laughs> All right, cool swinging, I guess. I, I took victim. my wife, my wife's boyfriend, and her two kids to go see the Sonic movie. I was appalled to hear homophobic slurs used throughout the movie. Luckily, <laughs> Birds of Prey was showing in the next room, and my family and my wife's boyfriend had a much better experience. Nice. <laughs> Let it sink in for a little bit, and then oh boy, it all makes sense. Nice. Nice. I'm. That's <laughs> just nice. I was a victim of a horrible hate crime while in the theater watching Sonic movie, where these white men called me a fag and spit on me. Going to see Birds of Prey made me feel safe to go to the movies again. <laughs> so, so, so nobody you, did that to so you. So who are you trying to channel Bullshit. in there? Were you were you trying to channel Jesse Smollett? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> please don't tell me you don't know who Jesse Smollett is. No, I know who that nigga is. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I know who he is. He done sent race relations back ten years. With his bullshit. <laughs> Trust me. I know who he is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, what were these people watching when they're saying that they watched the Sonic movie? Were they watching an empty screen? Were they just imagining what the Sonic movie would be showing? I mean, hell, you probably have a better shot of imagining what the Sonic movie <sighs> see, is just by, just by going to YouTube and typing Christian. I cringe even when I see the trailer of Sonic. I mean, yeah, they redesigned the character again, yeah. but... It still looks cringy because the dialogue is stupid. Yeah. And the fact that they've got Jim Carrey playing Dr. Robotnik is just, it's weird. It's, it's just everything about the casting, the, the, the plot makes no sense. Bro, Jim Carrey is going to carry all the weight of that movie. Because oh, right now he's the best actor from the trailer videos, he's the best actor out of everyone in that film. Definitely. <laughs> Without question. So he's going to carry that weight. I like this tweet. Birds of Prey is basically Joker for soccer moms. <laughs> really? What? No, that's a tweet that someone said. It's... Oh, good lord. <laughs> no, apparently the movie is... Just a slightly better version of Suicide Squad with Harley Quinn in it. I didn't so watch that. Make of that what you will if you've seen Suicide Squad. Um, she's DC's version of Deadpool, I guess, which isn't that good. Um, she should not be headlining her own film. It it's just doesn't work for Harley Quinn. I don't even know who the fuck it is. I'm sorry, uh, I, I don't. I do don't know who that is. Do you watch comic book shit? Nope. I mean, I've watched some of the Marvel shit, you know, like yes, Captain cause... America and shit like that. Yeah, because but... that's amazing. Yeah. Well, these so, movies suck, but... the thing about me is I'm kind of stuck in my own little world. I, uh, I don't get out much. I usually work, come home, do this bullshit, and then play some games. 
You should watch more movies. <laughs> You're one to talk, Lifty. A lot of well, yes, people. I should You're watch one more to movies, talk. too. You're one to talk, too. You wouldn't watch The Shape of Water just because you thought it had fish yes. sex in it. Yes, there's no, literally it, fish sex in the it movie. Won yes, an Oscar for best picture. Dude, Hold on. Who fucks a fish in a movie? Are you serious? What? You don't see any fish fucking oh, in the movie. Bullshit. She's fucking a fish. I and watched, y'all are okay I with watched, that. I watched that movie. So I are you? Bestiality movie. going on, but y'all are okay is, with is, that. Is 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 that exactly why women's vaginas smell like? <laughs> no, okay, no, they smell like that because they a hoe. Oh. Uh, okay. So, what do you think the lady with the blue waffle smells like? Okay, like blueberry we're waffles? Not touching that. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Blue- he don't, don't ask. Don't ask. He doesn't know. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. You don't know what that is? Hold on. Let me. Find- <laughs> no, you're, I don't. You're joking, right? No, How I'm not. You, I'm not. You're, you're sufficient in age, and you don't know what that is. No. You sweet summer child, bless your heart. Please don't please, Google it. Please, no, don't clue Google me it, in, clue me in, clue me in. You know what? Send Lifty, it in a private message. Or Lifty, something. Google Blue Waffle and see what happens. No, I don't want to oh, Google. No, I don't, don't want to Google it on my server. Why? They, they will fucking shut down my, my You're email. You're so interested about it. Yeah, because I want to know what it's you're just talking a about. Vagina, sweetie. I, okay, why is it called a Blue Waffle? Don't Here. worry about it. Why has this been posted on Channel Twenty Four News? What? Channel 24 News, what? We don't even have it's, a Channel 24. It's literally okay, on a new... Okay, that is disgusting. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck is that? I-, I warned you. So did he. Why is that on Channel 24 News? That's my question. <laughs> Why would they host that? Oh Barefoot. my god, Ew. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> oh my god, that is that is just oh. Well, thank you. My night is ruined. Yes, it might be coming from Waffle House very soon. You know they oh, uh, they no, were no, thinking stop, about stop, they, stop, they, stop, stop, they, stop. no don't they ruin great. Waffle House with this shit. <laughs> they said that they wanted to start something fresh. <laughs> so now what what fresher way to introduce new waffles than to you know put one of those uh little well, tablets in it that I make saw... them turn blue you know like the thing that you put in toilets to fucking turn the water blue that's what they're doing here what i just saw isn't fresh bro what i just saw how do you know just stank how do you how do you know it could be wow i could smell that picture that's how bad it looked. Lifty, you are such it. a misogynist for that. I could smell it. All right. Did anyway. I, 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 didn't, I did not want to go into the medical field because I know I'd be seeing a lot of bodily fluids and a lot of gross shit that would just really make me just flip my stomach upside down. That would be one of those things. Ugh. Anyway, let's get to the last thing on our agenda and i will i will lead the way on this one since you know everyone else has had their 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 chance so i i looked him up while you guys were still complaining about that in telegram um he's got mental problems like a lot um he posted videos of where he was like in the kitchen cooking with his mother he's definitely slower much slower um so i don't know if it would be proper really to bring that up so we can probably so edit are we this talking out about again um, his name is Stankowitz, Jamie Stankowitz. That's a that's a that's a wonderful name. <laughs> I feel so bad for this dude because he, his Lord, name I'm is sorry. Stankowitz. <laughs> it's if it's actually. Sorry. With I'm, stank, I'm sorry. I feel bad for you. But I, I should yeah, be talking because my real name bro, is fucked up as well. That and I hate it. Into something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I would too. I would too. <laughs> That's as bad as Shabay Bay, man. You should change that name real quick. <laughs> it's a very prominent Polish name. I mean, yeah. It's, oh, boy. yeah. Like, my last name is not actually what it is. I think what Silox is trying to say, even though he didn't say it as elegantly as he could, is that it doesn't translate very well to an English audience. Yeah. Oh, 
thank God. I thought that beat was the Echo Bot for a minute to come in the start. <laughs> oh Lord. So if you look in the chat there, don't say it out loud. Yeah. But that's my actual last name. Mm-hmm. Ah. So try to say that one out loud it, it, to yourself. Uh, are you Russian or something? Yes. Okay, that explains the, the accent then. Okay. What accent? Yeah, what accent? You can speak Russian really well. well. Yeah, but you know, it's it's not like I'm going around speaking it all the time. But you know, that is precisely why. Nowadays, but when that's more of a when my than an asset. when my family moved to the United States eons ago, the last name had to be Americanized because you know there was a point in time where the communist regime was frowned upon of course you know in the united states for example mccarthy era so so quite literally my my ancestors were like ah, fuck that shit so they changed the last name yeah um but the family tree stems back to that name right there but it's kind of funny like a lot of a lot of people don't know their own family heritage lifty you say that you're very you know unhappy with your last name or I, your, I would rather name. i would rather not it not be mentioned in this podcast i don't I, want i'm to. not going to okay but the thing is yeah, no i'm not i'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm unhappy with my last name i'm unhappy with my first name either way it's the name that was given to you and it might mean something if you actually look through your family I, history I, I look through the meaning of it and i'm like i'm very i'm like 99.9% confident that i don't agree with the meaning of it and i and i also you also have to realize 30 oh. years of fucking bullshit that i had to deal with that fucking name all because of how my name is and now it's just like yeah i don't want to make it 31 years yeah well when i don't, your first I don't name... care i don't care what the meaning of it is anymore again the the, the the experience that I've had for the past 30 years with that name outweighs whatever meaning it has or it had. I, I don't a... care about the meaning. I have no pride in the meaning. This is why I'm saying to all parents, be very wary about what you name your kids because they have, to at, they have to at least live with that name for at least 18 years. Yes. So I... if you cost Please. them jobs... Or if you cost them opportunities in the long term because of what you decided to be creative with, with their name. Oh, no. It's not even creative. You know what? No. Hold up. I am so sick of you people out here who want to get fucking creative and, and be slick and name your kids some really dumb fucking shit. All oh, right. Here we go. I should not have to teach a kid named Shabebe. That is <laughs> fucking disgusting. And it is wrong to have a child name that. Rayquaza. Right? Uh, yeah, Rayquaza. I agree. Rayquaza, fuck you, right? <laughs> That's my kid's name, so fuck off. Right? Oh my god, so <laughs> that meme that I, I'm so familiar with, where it's like, it's a teacher trying to do roll call, and one of the names was Shithead, so he was like, going down the list of names, and he's like, uh, Shithead, and the kid was like, it's Shithead! <laughs> like, I mean, but, please. like, legit, that shit's coming true. I've met some people in my name that in my in my life that are just like their name is just so. Wait, were your parents high? Look, or, if, if your parents name you something get something really ghetto or something really quirky, they must hate you. That means you are an accident, and they don't give a fuck about you. I shit you not. In my time with nine one one, I took a phone call from a girl. Her middle name was Dream Wrecker. I'm not fucking kidding you. Her middle name was Dream Wrecker. Yeah, uh, people, people be wilding with these names. And it's really sad because these kids, some of them turn out to be really intelligent. But, but they can't get jobs or be taken serious because they have a fucked up name. And it really sucks. And not only that, you set them up for uh, some really deep depression when they get into their middle school years and high school years. Because you know if if you give your child a quote-unquote creative name kids are gonna be kids they're gonna be little shitheads and they're gonna they're gonna go right after that kid like a laser beam for 
for seven years. Like a like they broke yeah. a fucking mirror. They didn't yeah. do anything. I'm fortunate. I have a a Scottish name or whatever the fuck it, it it's either Celtic or Scottish. So I mean I got made fun of for my name, but Isn't it Craig? No, it's not Craig. It begins with a B. So I'm fortunate in that respect. I used to hate my name and I used to Bailey. ask Yes. I what? Bailey. No, Bailey? What black person you know is named Bailey? <laughs> I mean, you never know. They're out there. No black Appar- person is it, in, Bailey. Hold on now. So in T- in Team Fortress 2, there is a black Scottish dude That's as video Demo game. Man. Yep, yeah, yeah, but it, it's, it, it had to have existed for it to be... No, that's about. just somebody trying to be woke as fuck, okay? No black Stop saying that word. <laughs> in their kid Bailey, all right? I don't care you never know. Are. So now we've been talking for a hot minute. And with that, I think that I'm we hot. should. Get it a... is actually warm in here, isn't it? We should get a fan. But also, <laughs> we should start winding down this podcast. So, first of all, we'd like to thank you, our listeners, for listening to us for an hour, uh, rambling about various topics in the furry community. If you like what you hear, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. And hit that bell for notifications so that you are notified when we drop our next episode. Oh, and yeah. if you uh, and if you comment Yay. on our videos, we may be reading your comments on air. Uh, no same one comments. Thing with people do. Yeah, comment. no, nobody comments. People nobody, comment. re- nobody listens to this bullshit. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Anyway, there are people that listen to us. But anyway, also feel free to follow us on Twitter if you like our shenanigans at Furry Frequency. And with that said, it's time to sign off. This has been Furry Frequencies with with Lifty. Silox. Uh, No, your name's Bailey. Uh, What's what's your name? What's your name, jackass? Uh, Yeah, we'll go with that. (laughs) Okay. And IBM. There you go. Thank you so much for listening, and you have a wonderful night. Good night, Fort Lauderdale. You know what's up. Oh, and wait, before we go. I don't follow. It's you smacking your lips. I don't smack my lips. (laughs) Good night, everyone. Good night.